Good Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Craig Zybert. Thanks for logging on to WKBN.com. We had a record-setting cold day today as our low temperature got down to 27, breaking that old record of 28. We are still just after 6.30, right in the low 40s. But as you look off to my over my shoulder, off to the west, seeing the temperatures in the 50s, that's the air mass that's working its way towards the valley for your Mother's Day. We have to get through another cold start tomorrow, though. Current alerts showing you freeze warnings in effect overnight tonight for the start of your day Sunday through 7 a.m. across parts of Mahoning and Trumbull counties. The rest of our counties, Lawrence, Mercer, and into Columbiana County, that freeze warning goes through 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Viper radar quieting down now, clearing skies off to our west. But here is a look at a cold front that's working its way towards the valley from the Midwest. That could spark off even the risk of a few showers and some thunderstorms through the day tomorrow. The severe weather outlook, most of those severe weather will be off to our west. But notice we're right on the fringes here across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. We could see a stronger storm or two roll, roll their way through as we go late into Sunday evening into the early overnight hours. So let's walk you through your future tracker. You're starting off here tonight at 630. Those clouds, they'll be on the they'll be on the move out of here. That'll allow our temperatures to get back down to the 30s as we start our Mother's Day. Should see some sunshine around as well, but we'll start seeing those clouds begin to increase as we go through the day. That'll allow these winds to come out of the southwest, warming ourselves up toward the mid 50s by the time we get towards your lunch hour tomorrow. Just some mix of sun and clouds for the early part of the afternoon. Then we'll see some more clouds working their way through, but a risk of some showers and thunderstorms about 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening and another round possible again as we go into 8, 9 o'clock. So they'll be hit and miss and scattered throughout the evening tomorrow. So we want to bring those umbrellas if you're going out to mom's house to stand with her in the driveway or whatever you may be doing tomorrow afternoon. Then we'll see those at behind that system. We'll see some risk of a few snowflakes falling for the start of your Monday morning. Another cold start, a cold day Monday, but then we begin to rebound our temperatures as we go through the week. Tonight, a cold frigid night back down to 32 degrees. Flurry chance between now and about 7, 8, 9 o'clock this evening. Then we'll start seeing, the, see, seeing those clearing skies as we go through the rest of your evening. 57 degrees tomorrow, a warmer day. They're becoming mostly cloudy after some morning sunshine. Showers developing late into the afternoon, into the early evening hours. Here's that seven-day forecast that you're all looking forward to as we start seeing those temperatures warming their way up through the week. Again, Monday is going to be the coldest day of the next seven. We start ourselves with some rain or snow showers. Those will end. We'll start seeing some clearing skies, and then we'll start seeing our temperatures begin to trek up a little bit each day through the week. We have a dry Tuesday and Wednesday, getting our temperatures back towards 60. Then as we get towards the end of the week, we start being unsettled with the risk of some showers and thunderstorms at times Thursday through Saturday. But by Saturday, we get our high temperatures back to the low to mid-70s.